Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another day in my life. So today was an exciting yet peaceful yet productive day for me and Dan and baby P. We made our way to another midwife appointment and you guys liked that so much last time I decided to bring you on this one too. We also went to one of our favorite plant shops here in Nashville to get some new plant babies for our home. And of course, I'll be showing you what I ate, the cleaning and chores that I did. It's almost Christmas my baby is almost here so if you're happy about both of those things and you like this video give it a thumbs up and with that being said let's jump right in now I was gonna say that we're gonna start this video off random but I feel like all of my videos are nothing but randomness so here's a moment in Zoe's day getting kissed by me and carried around like the princess that she truly is I had to show you this ornament that Dan's parents just sent us oh so sweet I also thought this was a really creative gift idea they gave us the spice mix and recipe for Dan's Aunt Sally's potato salad so I'm super excited to be making that hopefully soon in life and then they also sent us these clothes for baby P they're so cozy and cute and I know he will look adorable in them <laughs> Then before we made our way out of the house to run our errands, I gave the pups a little treat and then we headed out. It was beautiful on this day. It was chilly, but the sky was gorgeous. So we made our way to our favorite plant shop here in Nashville called Gardens of Babylon, and it's actually attached to the Nashville Farmer's Market. Now, the reason that we like this place is because their plants are high quality, their decor and setup is so creative and beautiful. They have tons of plants, and compared to a couple of other specialty shops that I've gone, their prices are much more affordable. You're still gonna pay a pretty penny to bring plant babies into your home, but like I said, compared to some other shops, they have good prices. They also carry other little odds and ends like candles and gemstones and matches and they're so cute. I just love walking around and filming everything and looking at everything when I'm here. By the way, I really want one of these plants one day. Um, now they had some spicy music playing the entire time we were there. It was like a whole cha-cha soundtrack. So both Dan and I also felt extra spicy. He was dancing on his own, just like without me even asking him to. That's how you know. Dan was feeling the groove. <laughs> now they have two greenhouses here at Gardens of Babylon. So the second one in the back is mostly the houseplant greenhouse. And that's where we went to look for more plants and also sat on this little like picture spot they have. And we did, you know, more dance moves. And then once we had picked our final plant, we made our way back to the front to pay for them because we weren't going to steal the plant. I don't know. Then we had our appointment with our midwife. So my appointments are now being moved to every two weeks. So the last appointment you saw was two weeks prior. I have this one and then another two weeks and at some point I think they go to every week, but I was confused in the last video. This is actually our last in office visit, but our next appointment is with our midwife, our second midwife and our doula at our house. In case you missed the memo in my other videos, we are attempting to do a home birth. So that's why they'll be coming to our house next. Now, a ton of you guys were, I guess, really creeped out and feeling bad for me for this belly touching and movement. And I have to say, because I got so many comments, it is not painful. It's a little bit uncomfortable and it gives Dan the heebie-jeebies too. Like he doesn't do it at home because he's like, I feel like I'm hurting you. Um, yeah, it's a little uncomfortable, but there are only so many ways to, you know, check on the baby. And like I said, it's not painful, but it is weird. Let's just say I'm never doing this to myself at home, but it is great information to know 
where his head is, where he's facing, and just keep kind of an eye on him. Or I guess we should I should say a hand on him. Also, she always checks his heart rate. Let me know if you guys have any specific questions about our experience with our midwife. So many of you guys seem to be interested in midwifery in our last video with Jen. So if you have specific questions, maybe I'll gather them together and do like a midwife Q&A video at some point, just throwing it out there. Then afterwards, Dan really wanted to go to Chick-fil-A and lately I've been craving chicken noodle soup. So I actually tried this two weeks earlier after living, leaving our midwife appointment. And then today, since he really wanted Chick-fil-A, I got a bowl of the soup again. And it was so good. They really do make good chicken noodle soup. And we ate the food in our car with my window down. So it was like a nice breeze, but we were bundled up and warm. And it was fun. We just ate and hung out and chatted. Then when I got home, I decided to transfer the mini plants that I purchased into the specific pots that I like to line the top of my bathroom window. They're all this matching cream pot I got off Amazon that I really like. And then I pulled out my potting soil that I also purchased off Amazon. By the way, all of the stuff that I use is linked in my shop on my blog. So in general, if you ever have questions about things around my house, you can pretty much always check my blog and shop the different rooms. And I try to link all of the things that you might see in my videos, or at least something very similar. And if there's ever something that's not on there, leave me a comment and I will try to get that added into the shop as well so you can easily find it. By the way, they are affiliate links. So when you buy through my shop, I do receive a commission. And I just wanted to say, thanks for that. You don't have to shop through my links, but if you do, Thank you. So once I transferred the plants into these pots and then added more soil around the plant to make it fit, I added some water to the pot just to kind of melt all of the soil together, I guess you could say. And then I lined all of the plants back up in the window of my bathroom. I love having this whole windowsill with these many plants. A couple had died, so I just had one on each side and that was fine, but I like having whole row. Side note, we didn't get to hanging the other plant that we bought yet on this day, but that will be in an upcoming day in my life video because I'm sure you're just dying to see that. So um, then I made my way into my closet because I had a lot of laundry that I had cleaned and needed to put away. And so I just kind of went through each item, hung everything up. Dan and I officially share a closet now, by the way. We did not before, but his old office that he had before we merged offices, he was also using that closet for his clothes. And that whole room is going to be Baby P's room. So he's transferred his clothes out and we are a unified closet couple now. And I actually love it that way. He doesn't have nearly as much laundry as me, but I actually don't mind slash kind of like the task of laundry. And since he's the one that does basically all the dishes, it makes me feel good that I can like do his laundry. I color coordinate his shirts. Like I like my stuff color coordinated and he likes it too. I think he likes the environment of my closet, TBH. So then I ended my day the same way I end it every day, or at least I do this every day, and that is taking an Epsom salt bath. Oh my gosh, I've always been a fan of Epsom salt baths because of all of my structural joint aches and pains, but being pregnant, the Epsom salt bath, somehow I swear feels even better. It's one of my favorite parts of the day, so. That is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you are still hearing my voice, check the info box because I am doing a giveaway in this video, yet another semi-secret, but not really secret because I'm telling you about it, giveaway. I seriously have so many mystery boxes that I need to give away to you guys. So please enter the contest and maybe keep your alerts on so that if and when I reply to your comment, if you are picked as the winner, you actually know. It is surprisingly hard to get people to reply to you're the winner messages. So, okay, that is all. I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys have a beautiful night and I will hopefully see you back here soon with another new video. All right, bye guys.